everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 8th, 2021. If you would like to have an angelic message reading or an Akashic Records reading, go over to my website at angelsouls444.com. And of course, I do still have a whole library now of Archangel meditation challenges and other spiritual content over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. Let's get into it for this week. Flung the cards everywhere. Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. The cards are everywhere. So first out, we have three of Gabriel prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So here's the deal. This is what you've been waiting for. <laughs> There's something I got to check my teeth. Uh, just check it. I got this bright red lipstick on. Make sure there's no lipstick on my teeth. But this is what you've been waiting for. This is the very thing that uh, you've been, it, what it feels like, it's what you've been hoping for, but it may not be looking the way that you thought. Does that make sense? So be, be flexible is what I want to say, because there might be something coming in. It's better than what you wanted. <laughs> I wanted to be careful with that before I just put it out there. It's better than what you wanted. Okay. So especially if you got caught in that toxic loop of, oh, that person's my soulmate. I have to wait for them to come back and all this stuff. Uh, and then suddenly here comes somebody a lot better and you go, oh, wait, this is what it's supposed to feel like. Okay. This is what a healthy relationship feels like. It's like that. Okay. And yes, definitely something around prosperity. This could be something that you've been working on, finally taking off, uh, that sort of thing. If you guys ever watch my, if you've watched my channel for a while, <laughs> I have this weird, uh, pattern with my cha channel. So when I first got on, it zoomed, the subscriber count zoomed up and then it just sat there literally for like two years, not moving. And then all of a sudden within two months, it doubled and then it just sat there, just sat there. So it, we'll see. We're coming up on the time when it's about time for me to double my subscriber count again. So let's see if that actually happens, but it has that kind of feeling about it. It's like if you've hit many plateaus, uh, you find or you find or figure out, that's how I want to say it. Like some message comes through, they figure out how to move on or unlock something. Okay. Ah, <laughs> these cards are a mess. Okay. What are we doing? Fiery week, the wheel. Archangel Jeremiah, who's all about life review. So you take stock of where you are and it's not this feeling of, I don't like where my life is, so I'm going to push and make something else happen. This is divine timing working for you. Okay. It's definitely divine timing working for you, but you're definitely looking at what has worked in the past and what has not. It says new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. See, some more information comes in and it could be very, very unexpected. Oh dear. Okay. There we go. <laughs> get, get that light off there, but, um, it's time. It's time. Something that you have been waiting on and waiting on, waiting on is finally coming to fruition. That is a wonderful thing. Let's see if I can try to shuffle these again. I mean, this is a pretty thick deck. You can see that's a lot. That's a lot to, have to shuffle. All right. As people say, your ship is coming in. Now, for some of you, if you get through this week and you're like, that didn't happen for me, you, that's your message. Don't dismiss that and say, this stuff is ridiculous. No, it means that you need to reevaluate what you're doing. Okay. Knight of Gabriel, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. That one's big. Remember I said, stay flexible. That's big. Uh, environmental activism. So things are happening. The seeds that are planted are now <laughs> growing. I'm telling you, there's like, I feel like some of you out there just completely gave up and you said, it's not going to happen. I'm tired. Like I'm done, whatever. And then here it comes. 
something cracking open for you. Now, again, for some of you, this could be a realization that cracks open and we all say, well, the internal work is not fun, right? <laughs> but it can be freeing. That could be the thing that unlocks your future. Okay, so just hang with it. Eight of Ariel, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. Uh, again, this is uh, something, it feels like it's something that you gave up on and you're kind of rusty at it, right? And then there's this opportunity that pops up. So if some of you, you know, maybe you lost your job last year and you've just been looking for other things and, you know, and then you kind of got out of the flow of what you used to do and now you have to brush up on that again. So there could be software that you have to learn or... Again, it's just this perfecting of your skills. What That's also Jeremiah too, not necessarily perfecting skills, but whatever you once did, if it starts to come back around or you're picking it up again, having to get better at it. Um, yeah. So like if you used to sing or you used to act, well, you need to start training again. Okay. I want to pull an extra one for this week before we get on to the Michael card. Okay. Eight. <laughs> Eight of Gabriel. A great deal of activity. Sudden and immediate results. Important communication. I don't need to say anything else about it. There's that. We ain't messing around, okay? Things are happening. So if you, I, I, again, I was giving that example about how my YouTube channel would just stay stuck for the longest and then I double in subscribers and people are looking. I actually, last time that happened, when I went from like um, 50,000 to, you guys know, it's just been hovering just under 100,000. Ever since then, people are like, you bought your subscribers. I don't do that, okay? I, I have everything that you see there is organic okay like it, it was hard won and organic I never bought subscribers never got with a, a multi-channel network I never did any of that so it's all been done by me and that's why it's been so slow <laughs> right? honestly this knock something over anyway so we'll see but it's that kind of energy where it's like well I, I kind of gave up I don't think I didn't think it was going to go anywhere and then it just goes flying forward okay the Michael card hold up the deck now you're going to hold yourself up if you're going to be stuck in your ways uh can't tell you nothing uh <laughs> you're being stubborn guess where i'm pulling this example from my own life i know i know <laughs> that's me but uh be willing to go with it oh look wait wait Hit my microphone, the whole thing. I just realized. Did you guys pick up on this? We have an eight and a nine. An eight and a nine. So it's like boom and then having to get in there and study to make it happen. Okay. And it can feel a little bit like drudgery. Because <laughs> right? it's like, yay, I got, you know, again, I'm a writer. So like this would be the kind of thing like, um, Yay, I finally got an agent. I finally, I'm getting this process. And then they come back with like a million changes. And you're like, I appreciate it, but <laughs> I just went through all this trouble to get it ready for this. You see what I'm saying? So <laughs> there's work ahead, I guess. So we have believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. Because that's the thing. That's the thing. Because... You know, you might get a great opportunity and you might start talking yourself out of it and saying, I'm not worth that or um, this isn't for me or, you know, I, I don't think I'm afraid of failure. You know, all those kinds of things. Uh, I don't want to look like a fool. I don't whatever it is. We'll make up a million things in our head to not be successful. And that is not obviously what is advised here. There is a new course of action that is coming up here. Okay, let me get this because I'm getting a feeling about something because they said the wheel is turning. You've gotten so used to being stuck that now that things are moving, 
you might not trust it. I think that's, I think that's the way I can put it. You may not trust it. And again, believe in trust and feeling like I can't. I'm thinking of the example of one time I heard a woman uh, say that she wanted to do what I did for work. And I was like, really? You want to be an executive assistant? You know what that is? <laughs> Talk about being a scapegoat. Your whole job is being a scapegoat and trying to take care of a whiny person. Uh, not all my bosses were whiny, but a lot of them were. Terrible. We used to, at, when I worked at Estee Lauder, I guess I shouldn't say that. <laughs> um, I better cut that out. When I worked at a certain place, um, this was not the last place I worked at, but before that, um, we had kind of a code. We had code language. For <laughs> it's terrible. Um, the one woman, she would come down the hall and she'd say, the puppies are loose. Puppies are loose. And that was our cue to get back to our desks because the meeting just let out early. Or if one of the executives was, was throwing a fit, you're like, oh, I got to go clean up after the little puppy. You know, like it was bad. But I, I didn't make the rules. Okay. I just came in. I just wanted to fit in with the other girls. I wanted the cool kids to like me. Uh, so I know it wasn't the greatest. But anyway, uh, I had this woman who said that she wanted to do what I do. And she asked what was involved. And I said, well, you know, it's this, this, and this. And she goes, I don't know how to do any of that. And I remember looking at her and thinking, wow. <laughs> like she was so quick to shut herself down. And I said, if you really want to do this, these are all things that you can learn. Then yeah, you have to be hyper organized, but, and you got to anticipate needs. Those are the hardest parts of the job because humans are unpredictable. <laughs> and yeah, you're supposed to be able to predict your boss. It's a whole thing. But anyway, um, you know, we, we talked for a little bit and I said, here are some resources where you can go online and just take online courses. That's this, that's the aid of Ariel. You know, get on in there and give yourself a shot at doing this. Same kind of thing for all of us this week. It's going to be hard work or for some of you, I feel like you're maybe wanting to go to grad school or something and you're looking at schools and at least back when I was applying for grad school, it was not easy. <laughs> there were a lot of steps. I had to take the GREs. Uh, you got to get your applications out. You got to get recommendation letters. I had, because I was going for writing for my master's program, I had to send writing samples and I had to write essays. It was a full-time job just to fill out applications for school. So for some of you out there, if you're going through that and you just feel really overwhelmed, if you can, because I'm getting this feeling of don't, don't let the anxiety carry you away. Bring it, bring it in here. What do I need to do right now? Or what can I do right now? Well, I can fill out maybe one application, right? One application. I'll take care of that. I won't take them all on at once. Or if you work for yourself, oh my gosh, all these clients are coming at me. Which one is owed work right now? Let me focus on that client, it, right? I mean, it's, it's that sort of thing, prioritizing. <laughs> it was a long way around that one word. There you go. Uh, so just believe in yourself. That is a big, big message here. Don't sabotage and say, I can't because you can, all right? There's always, especially with the internet, there's always a way to learn things in a very easy, free-flowing way, okay? So we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.